Today I'll show you how you can make any cordial. Hi guys, my name is Isis from Miami to the world. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to explore cordials. If you google cordial on the internet, you could come up with a couple of the results. But the one that I want to talk today is the ingredient of the cocktails. It's no alcoholic ingredient that you can use in many amazing classic and new cocktails. And I believe some of you might wonder what the cordial is and how to make any cordial. It's what happened to me some time ago and I decided to dig a little bit deeper and to find out what a cordial is and how to make any cordial. So I made a search on the internet, I found some sources where I found some information on cordials and what I understood that basically the cordial and Keep in mind, I'm talking the one that's used as a non-alcoholic ingredient in cocktails on just making some kind of a lemonade. So, basically, this is a, not a syrup, this is not a juice, this is something in kind of between. Uh, technically, cordial consists of some flavor, sugar and sour. But, in the end of the day, it tastes sour. Because if it tasted sweet, it would be called syrup and if you want to know how to make any syrup you can check the link right here and today we are going to explore cordials I will be making two cordials I'll be making classic lime cordial that is used in many cocktails and I'll be making an experiment I'll make a banana cordial I really wanted to make this cordial because I have some ideas on really great co cocktails but it will be an experiment. I don't know if I'll succeed. So follow me and we will see. If I'll succeed, you will have an amazing recipe. If I'm not, you will know what not to try. And if you want to make a cordial, so you have to take a fruit, let's say raspberry. I'll take an example as raspberry cordial. So you take raspberry. So technically you make a syrup, but a bit lighter, not so sweet, not one to one ratio. Or you can make one to one ratio as well, but I would advise probably to make a bit lighter sugar syrup and add some sour to it. Sour could be different. You could try fresh juice or mostly, but I found people use some acids in their cordials. And there are a couple of acids in the world, in the market, the, in the nature. <laughs> It's citric acid, tartaric acid, malic acid, there is also ascorbic acid, there is also some other acids, but what I found mostly used in cordial, so it's citric, tartaric and malic acid. There are a slightly difference of them, I'm not talking about the heavy construction and formulas, not like that, but in sourness, like for example, malic acid is double sour, almost double sour as citric acid and malic acid is usually found in apples the tart is usually found in grapes and citric acid as its name already says it's usually found in citrus fruits like lemons limes oranges so it's different acids different taste profiles and I don't have one answer to this, which acid to use. I didn't dig so much deep into those cordials and I believe I can't do that just by reading. I, I would need to do that by making many cordials with different bases, trying and trying them into cocktails and then just collecting all that experience. So I wasn't making so many cordials in my life yet. It's basically more or less just a start. So I will be using I'll see. Today I'll make some cordials and I'll see, I'll tell you everything what I use and uh, in the end I'll taste them definitely and I'll tell if it's a good variation. So you will know. But let's go to the first cordial. But before getting into doing our first cordial, you might ask, why make cordial if I can just use fresh juice? As cordial is already just a sour substance. I don't have an answer to this, but by using juices and cordials in my cocktails, I could say that there is a difference in a taste. So basically, it's probably, it gives a different taste profile, even it's like lime juice or lime cordial. Make gimlet with lime juice and lime cordial, and you will see that it's a different cocktail. And I prefer my gimlet with lime cordial, because with juice, it's more sour, it's like 
not a gimlet, it's like a gin sour if you mix with gin or with vodka, so it's like vodka sour more for me. So I prefer to use cordial and cordial is then a bit different than a juice. So technically you could try to do that with pouring a little bit sugar syrup, that and that and that, but you know, making lime cordial you are using not just the juice, you're also using a, a rind skin so it gives different taste profile so my answer from my experience is just a taste profile a different taste profile so let's go to our lime corn for this i'll be using uh, i have six limes here i'll be doing everything simple i read recipes on the internet and i decided to twist them with my own twist because there's a lot of recipes more or less all of them are similar so i just got the idea and as i have enough experience in making crafts bar crafts so i believe i could make my own version by just based on the recipes i was reading so in my lime cordial i'll be using six whole limes i'm cutting them in half and then each half in quarters I'm cutting out front and end and the front don't know how to call this in English <laughs> if you know let me know in the comments below that's how I learn English and now I'll just put all these limes in the pot and muddle them squeeze the juice oils from the skin okay great limes are squeezed i feel an amazing aroma limes really smell very good very fresh and you always have your saliva getting in your mouth needing for one amazing caipirinha <laughs> now I'm going to put one cup of sugar. I'm using white cane sugar. One cup, so it's 237 milliliters. And uh, I might add more sugar later because I'll be tasting and adjusting everything. So final recipes you will find in the description. I'm just telling you now what I'm doing. And I'm going to pour I think I'm going to pour one and a half cup of water. Let's see. Let's see if at first what's going to be. And later I'll adjust and final recipes, as I told you, you'll find in the description. It's for both cordial today. Okay. I have water, sugar, and limes with everything inside the pot now I'll be boiling everything until it boils okay first our cordial is in now until it's boiled I'll start to make my second cordial this is real experiment I'm experimenting with this one as well but more or less I know that it will work <laughs> I'll have to adjust some measures with banana, I'm not sure I didn't find recipe. Uh, so I thought, let's do it. Why not? So for banana cordial, I'm going to use banana skins of four bananas. And these bananas we can eat. By the way, yesterday I read that banana skins are very nutrition rich with b6 b12 potassium just eating skins like that let's try it. Mm, not the tastiest thing i could do that knowing that it's full of nutrition so you know it's better to eat skins than medicine or some other shit <laughs> But um, maybe we can find some other way to use them. But it might be another video about health, bartender's health. 
Now I'm using these skins. I'm cutting them in smaller pieces and putting in the pot. I, I have only a small pot because the big one is occupied now. I'm not sure if it's too much or not. We're experimenting. And now I will add, I think, two thirds of the cup of the sugar. Because limes are sour itself already. And the cordial is a sour substance. So we shouldn't make, we're not making banana syrup. It would be great as well. So three thirds, three thirds. <laughs> Two thirds of sugar and double more water, so it would be like okay. Just put one one and a half cup of of water, and I'll put the burn it as well. So technically, because banana doesn't have juice, or I mean visible juice like lime you can't squeeze banana and have banana juice so technically this cordial is based on juice and this cordial is based on I, I would call it a tea like I showed you in syrup recipe so you can make it just taking juice and adding sugar or you making kind of a tea from herbs and then adding a sugar so banana cordial is kind of that cordial because we are making like a sweet banana tea and then we will be adding some acid I don't know which one yet I'm experimenting and we will get our cordial so everything is done more or less now we have to wait until these two amazing things will start to boil and then I'll taste them and then I'll see what I have to adjust our lime cordial is boiling Let's boil everything for some time. I'll reduce the heat and we'll boil for a couple of minutes. Banana cordial is also starting to boil. I will cover it because I don't want to evaporate too much of it. Minimum heating just to get everything from the skin. As I assume it's kind of tea being made here at first okay enough for the lime cordial now I need to taste it and to adjust to put some acid some sugar or maybe some water I might get it a bit bitter because of the skins of this white thing but maybe it's not bad I want you to add bitter to my cocktail. I'll take some skins out. Looks like that at first. We will have to strain it or filter it through coffee filter. One more taste. It's nice. Be a bit too bitter. I don't know yet. Okay. I'll add a bit of acid. I don't need sugar, definitely. Uh, as it already has citric acid inside, so I guess I'll add some tartaric acid. I don't want to add too much, so I'm going to add like a one fourth, one third of the bar spoon in all of this. And dilute it. One more taste. Beautifully sour, a bit sweet. I believe it will be an amazing ingredient to my gymlet cocktail. Now, banana cordial. Let's, I'll turn it off and believe to soak. And now I'm going to filter, strain, and make a very nice lime cordial in that. Fine straining at first. Maybe it will be enough, I don't know. We'll see. It's strained. It looks fine for me. I don't know if I need to filter it through coffee filter. But for me it looks fine. I believe 
I'll just use it like that. Here, you can see better. It's quite clear. I don't believe I need a coffee filter, but if you feel you want to filter it even more, feel free to use coffee filter or some other filtration method. But for me, it will be fine like that. One hour passed, actually 55 minutes, but I'll consider it enough. And let's see what do we have here. Our banana syrup. Oh, it smells, it smells really good, really banana -y. It's interesting if taste is as intensive as a smell. Put some light on for you guys. Mm. Very nice. Wow, it's really very nice, very amazing. Very intense flavor, I could say. I wasn't expecting like that when I started. I was optimistic, but wasn't expecting it to be so good. What is? Mm, very nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, now I have to add some acid. This time I'll mix citric and tartaric acid, as banana doesn't contain either one of them. Maybe let's do it first, let's strain everything, and then we can add at first I will use fine strainer and I'll see if I need coffee strainer. Right. Hmm, I would like to strain it with coffee filter. I believe it will be even more nicer. might take some time filtering is done look how nice it looks from here it's quite transparent so I guess filter coffee really made it work very good and now I'll be adding some citric and some tartaric acid I'm experimenting I'm happy with my first part <laughs> I'm going to add one fourth of the bar spoon of citric acid and the same amount, maybe I'll take another spoon, it's a bigger one, <laughs> so I'll take less, so it's one fourth of bar spoon of tartaric acid as well, let's see how it turns to be now the salt let's taste still very sweet mm. with a hint of acid but I think I'll add the same amount as I already did one more four so now it means half spoon of total half spoon of tartaric acid and a spoon of citric acid. Tasting time. I would add a bit more of citric acid, I guess, as tartaric acid is more acidic, more sour. So I'll add one fourth of citric acid more and I'll definitely will be happy with the result because I'm almost happy now but I want to make it a bit bit sour but it's amazing this banana cordial is going to be amazing definitely I wasn't expecting it to be so good it was a total experiment but this is amazing I'm I'm so excited and I'm really so <laughs> impatiently waiting well, I'll be making you my Gimlet video and I have a very nice Gimlet in mind. Subscribe my channel, stay tuned and I'll show you an amazing recipe using these two cordials. 
and especially I'm excited about this banana cocktail because I'm already so happy that it turned out to be so great. Fantastic, fantastic. Full recipes in the descriptions, you will find them. And this video is to give you an idea, to give you insights, to give you a couple of different cordials and an example. And now you definitely can make any cordial you want in the world. You're just taking some flavor, you're adding sugar, water, citric or tartaric or malic acid you can experiment or you can use just one acid uh, don't complicate it at all it's how i did the lime cordial i made it very simple i even did in the peel limes maybe it's not so good because it turned out to be a bit too more bitter than i thought i thought it will get bitter because of that but just i thought i will somehow to get it through and it won't get so bitter I'm not sure how it will turn in the cocktail, we will see. But in case you can use a bit less of full limes, you can just peel limes and use just a peel, not a bowl full. Just squeeze juice and then peel limes, that's it. And don't use the white thing, so it won't be so bitter. Uh, I mean, it's not very bitter. I, I can drink it, it's okay. I will see how it will turn in the cocktail because when bitter thing gets colder, it gets bitter. The feeling of it gets bitter. Uh, keep that in mind. When you're making a cold cocktail, uh, of course, most cocktails are cold, and you put in some bitters or something, and you chill it, the more you chill it, the bitter it feels. When it gets warmer, the bitterness reduces. So keep that in mind when creating cocktails. So I will tell you how it will turn out. As I told you in my Gimlet video, it's coming soon, so stay tuned. And now, I'm having these two amazing cordials. I'm so excited about banana one. <laughs> I have a so nice gimlet in mind to show you. So guys, this is my cordial video to show you, to teach you how to make different cordials. So I gave you an idea, so I didn't want to make separate cordials in all the videos. So I just wanted to make one video that will explain everything you need to know how to make cordials. Of course, you'll have to experiment. I am not giving you the exact measures for all the cordials, but you have an idea. You put flavor, you put water, you put sugar, just don't make it as a sugar syrup. Make it lighter because it's not a sugar syrup. And some acid and that's it, you have a cordial. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was informative and I hope it was knowledgeable for you. And I'm sure now you know how to make any cordial. If you have some doubts or if you have some ideas and you're not sure, please let me know in the comments below and I'll help you to solve that problem. I'll help you to make that cordial and I'll give you my advices or maybe I even will try to make a video on how to do something if it turns out to be something really complicated. So never hesitate, just write in the comments because my idea is to share my knowledge but I'm not the one who knows everything. I also get knowledge from people around. Sometimes people will see this video and they'll say I could do a better banana cordial. Please do it. Share a recipe in the comments. Tell me how to make it. I would really love to make it even better. And thank you very much for that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with me as well. And I would really like to ask you a Big favor for me, a small thing for you. Subscribe my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and I'll share all my love, passion, and energy with you in my coming videos.